here is Donald Rumsfeld, U.S. Defense Chief during the Iraq War, who died at the age of 88, boys. You know, the good news keeps rolling in. Donald Trump's uh, organization is under investigation. Donald Rumsfeld is dead. I mean, there's so much going on. Fingers crossed for Henry Kissinger. Uh, rest in piss, Donald Rumsfeld. Donald Rumsfeld was brash and abrasive, infamously so. His critics say the combination was the former U.S. Defense Secretary's undoing during the worst days of the U.S. war in Iraq. Rumsfeld's take, he was right. His critics were wrong, and they couldn't stand it. It's a fact. I'm a survivor. Rumsfeld was a survivor of Washington politics. He made history as both the youngest and the oldest Secretary of Defense. And he did the bidding of four Republican presidents. In 1983, President years, Ronald Reagan sent to Rumsfeld to Baghdad to try to broker closer ties Hassel with Hassel Saddam Hassel. Hussein. But two decades later, it was Defense Secretary Rumsfeld who argued Saddam had to go. In rejecting the president's ultimatum, the Iraqi regime has chosen war over peaceful disarmament. And a U.S.-led war was the way to make that happen. He and other Bush administration officials accused Iraq of helping to plan the September 11th attacks, which it did not. With absolutely zero evidence. You know, just completely At fabricated. The month anniversary, smiling face with hearts. Completely fabricated pieces of evidence that they just, again, made up. Rumsfeld also accused Iraq of possessing weapons of mass destruction which it did not. Just got he was I wrong, guess. but Rumsfeld refused to say so. We believe the intelligence was correct. It turns out that it was not completely correct. Oh, not completely correct. Hello. Yeah, motherfucker, it was completely incorrect. Okay, yeah, totally. Totally didn't do this on purpose. Totally not deliberate, by the way. Definitely wasn't trying to justify invading Iraq any way, shape, or form. That they could, by the way. Oh, man, oopsie. What a big oopsie, dude. At first, Rumsfeld embraced... I mean, these guys, like, invented... Or not invented, but perfected lying to... Has buffeted the, uh, the entire country and the entire world, so... The neoconservative ideology of exporting U.S.-style democracy and nation-building. But in his 2013 memoir, Rumsfeld changed his tune. I did not think resolving other countries' internal political disputes, podium. paving roads, erecting power lines, policing streets, building stock markets, and organizing democratic governmental bodies were missions for our men and women in uniform. More important, Rumsfeld refused to plan for the possibility that Iraq could tumble into chaos and civil war. Again, he wouldn't apologize. There are known knowns. There are things we know we know. We also know there are known unknowns. That is to say we... This is where that boondocks uh, uh, take comes from. No, there are some things we do not know. Critics said Rumsfeld's desire to spend as little money as possible to fight the war meant U.S. troops didn't have the protection they needed from roadside bombs. And they said this exchange between a soldier and Rumsfeld proved he didn't care. Now, why do we soldiers have to dig through local landfills for pieces of scrap metal and compromised ballistic glass to up armor our vehicles? And why don't we have those resources readily available to us? Uh, you go to war with the army you have, uh, not the army you might want or wish to have. Like, he was such an asshole, even to... I mean, he was brutally honest. He was brutally fucking honest, dude. Just directly telling a, a a fucking soldier like hey yeah whatever dude shut the fuck up just die fuck off and die it's great around the world rumsfeld was a symbol of u.s arrogance the military prison at guantanamo opened on his watch we are going to treat them exactly right that's right and the abu Ghraib abuse scandal exploded while rumsfeld was in charge hey, with the U.S. war in Iraq going badly, Rumsfeld resigned at the end of 2006, leaving a legacy that is decidedly controversial. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera. 
now that we uh, went through the good news, I mean, rotten piss, Donald Rumsfeld, uh, fucking piece of shit. I would come if McConnell dies next. Yeah, that's not happening. Unfortunately, uh, there is no karmic justice and uh, horrifically evil people, horrifically evil people like this just die peacefully, surrounded by friends and family. They never suffer even a fraction of the pain that they've caused to millions around the world. Henry Kissinger's existence is proof of this unfortunate reality. That's why I always say, like, you know, Donald Trump is not, he's not dying. 